Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn about graphical method of convolution. Okay, so these are the two signals. This is the input signal, VIT, and this is the impulse response, HT. And we have to find their convolution to find the output, YT. So step number one is change the scale from t to lambda or z or any other variable. And why we want to change this uh, t because we will be using this letter t as a variable in solving the problem. So here we go. <coughs> we have changed uh, the variable t to z and so does the name changes. So vit becomes vi z or ht becomes hz then step number two is flip one of the signals around zero axis now between these two we can flip any of the signals but it is better that we choose the one which is which looks simpler so since this looks simpler so we'll flip this signal And now you can see that the name has also changed. It is V1 minus Z. So from here we just turned it or flipped it towards the left hand side uh, around the zero axis. So this is the zero axis. And change the name. So we now have these two signals. The step number third is move the flipped signal to a point T. So we move it to a point T. Now T could be either on the left hand side or right hand side. I prefer to keep towards the left. So as if we have moved this towards left to a point T. And now a couple of things happening. Number one, this zero will now become T. And therefore minus will uh, minus one will become t minus one and the name will also change from uh, minus z to minus z plus t or you can say t minus z is all the same okay now we keep pushing the flipped signal towards the other signal and so uh, let's consider first scenario, first zone. Time till this t is short of zero. So that is on the left hand side. That means there is no overlap between the two signals. And therefore output will be zero. So you can say that this is zone one when t is short of zero, t less than zero. And we know this is the integral formula and the multiplication of the two, these two now is zero. So our output will be equal to zero for t less than zero. So that is the first case. Now let's move it further, slide it further. And now this t has crossed zero. So t is greater than zero and the overlap has started. Until how long will this overlap started uh, remain in the same manner? Till t reaches just short of 1. Because after this, when we move it further, there will be a gap between these two. We'll see in the next slide. So the, the range is for t greater than 0 and here t less than 0. So this is our zone 2 t greater than 0 and less than 1 and what will be the output so there is an overlap between the two and remember that this is 1 so we just multiply ht by 1 so the area under the curve will look like this and from 
this definition there will be two things number one the original definition is from zero to infinity multiplication of the two but now our limit is depending on t if this this t wherever is this t starting point is zero starting point is zero but the end point of overlap is at t so when t is here or t is here or t is here like so that means the upper limit will be dictated by t and this is very important that you, that you are clear in this the starting point is clear from this graph the starting point is zero not from here we don't know what is this part so starting point will take zero but the final point is t from both these diagrams you can see because here it is not clear what is the value so we'll use this t so the integral will be from zero to t and the value of integral will give us the uh, final value so let's see that now so integral zero to t this signal was 2e minus z multiplied by this one so it will be 2e uh, minus z dz and then we integrate this and put in the limits i hope you can do this integrate this 2e minus z so it will be 2e minus z divided by minus z and then when we put the limits of 0 and t so this is the result that we will get uh, so please do it at your own so this is the second value that we got and now let's move into another area when we move this t further ahead of 1 then what is happening that the overlap is missing at the tail end that means situation is now changed so this is the third case of third zone and third zone is starting from t greater than 1 now since this is going up to the infinity so there is no uh, end of this uh, this is up to infinity if it were let's say finite then we'll have another would have another situation when this moves beyond this two but we'll see in the other problem so here our limit is t greater than one so this one will keep on sliding 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 and the area under the curve will keep on gradually decreasing so how do we write that as we push further when t is greater than one then there opens a gap at the tail end so this gap here and so our equation now will be okay the limits yes very important what is the limit now if you see we don't know what is this point but we know what is this point that is t minus 1 so that is our starting point similarly here we don't know what is this point so we take the t as the other point so the limit is limit of integration from t minus 1 to t again the, the signal at 2e minus z is being multiplied by 1 so the value will be same value and we again integrate this and put the limits to find this value so this is the value that we get for t greater than 1 so the final result looks like this it was 0 for t less than 0 it is 2 1 minus e raised to the power minus t for t between 0 and 1 and it was 2 e minus 1 e raised to the power minus t for t greater than 1 and now let's try to plot this so the first one for t less than 0 v2 is 0 so we just draw a straight line at 0 now between 0 and 1 this is the value and so we can plug in the value of t so put in value of t in this equation so we'll get 0 we put in the value of t is equal to 1 in this equation then we'll get 1.26 now what will be the shape of this curve will it be a straight line or it will be curvature that we can guess from our knowledge of e minus t so you know e minus t when plotted it will be something like this parabolic and so when we subtract this from 1 it will be just 
inverted so like 1 minus this one will be 0 and here let's say it is 0 so 1 minus 0 will be uh, the main signal so this is 1 minus ET shape so it is a curvature and that is why we have drawn this slightly curvature in this case so this is the second part and now we go to the third part for t uh, greater than 1 again we can put a couple of values t is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 t is equal to 3 so it will be uh, these values 1.26.45 so gradually it is decreasing like this for uh, this part and so now we can the final result we can add all three so this zero this part from zero to one and this part from one to three so this is our final result so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve graphical convolution problems thank you